Good morning! It's time for stage two of the Compass Challenge. I'm Chris. Hello. Um, it's nice and early in the morning. It's a um, grey day, uh, but not raining, so that's good as in there's no rain forecast. So hopefully we'll stay nice and dry. Um, I'm walking nice and responsibly today, as ever. Um, staying safe. Uh, we're walking from home and this thing, the Compass Challenge, is something that you can all do from home, which is why I'm doing it, to show you that there are ways of being fun and getting around and seeing your local area in ways that you may not have seen it before. Right of way to Mugdock. Woo! So the Compass Challenge is dead simple. You start at home, do a walk to the north, a walk to the east, walk to the south and a walk to the west. Um, you can decide how long you want to walk. Um, either give yourself a certain amount of time and walk that time and then walk back or find a particular distance and do the same thing. Um, something that is really good to be doing, I think, is to um, get, a, get a map out and just have a look and see which route you want to go, see if there's any interesting paths on there that you've never been along before, um, see which route is likely to be quieter um, it will help you with social distancing and also it's good to see which routes um, are going to be a bit more interesting and a bit nicer to walk along. Um, he says this as he's walking along a road, um, but yeah, it's quite a nice road to walk along. So I've walked north out of Mulgai and I've reached the Drumclog Moor car park um, which has been kind of locally famous as somewhere that a lot of people um, when we started moving towards lockdown were driving to and all congregating on here and all going for a walk in their cars so um, yeah so you'll see that the car park there has been closed off um, and the road, which has been a couple of weeks ago, a bit of an overflow car park. There are pictures of this entire road being lined with cars. Um, there's only one car there, much further up. Um, so, yeah. So, the, the question I'm seeing quite a lot is whether it's okay to drive a short distance and then go for your walk there. Um, well, there are different ideas of what a short distance is, but the general point I would make on that is to be aware that viruses don't move by themselves. They only move in people. So the more you move around um, and the further you go, the more likely you are to be spreading a virus if you have it. And quite a lot of us do now, often unknowingly. Um, so if yeah if you do have it and you go somewhere else then you are risking um moving that virus from a community in which maybe a lot of people have it into a community in which fewer people have it and that is how it spreads around um so please don't drive around to go for your walks just doing a short section along the side of Mugduck Reservoir, one of the Mogai Reservoirs. Um, there's a few people walking around here, but it's pretty quiet, but you probably expect that. It's uh, quarter past eight in the morning. A little horse 
you should be self-isolating. Now into the edge of Mugduck Country Park. If you've not been here before, then if it's not local to you, then make this one of the places you come to after uh, after you're allowed to travel again. It's a fantastic place to explore and full of little corners like this. Another closed car park there that would normally have some quite a few people in it. Oh, hello there. Hello, what are you doing here? Um, well, I'm having a walk. What are you doing here? You're usually uh, in my bedroom. Um, I'm climbing a tree. What does it look like? It's what we do, it's natural. Okay, okay, so. Uh, all right, Squish. What's that? What's what? That thing in front of you. Uh, it's a camera, Squish. I'm taking a video. Uh, it's going to go on YouTube. What? What? Me? Hello? I'm on YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. Hello? 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 Hello, world. I'm famous. Just a reminder that if you do say any actual red squirrels in Scotland, then uh, go to www.scottishsquirrels.org.uk and report them. Just for when I said report them there, I don't mean to the police or anything, I just mean like for conservation purposes, but maybe if they're misbehaving or doing anything dangerous, then you might want to report them to the police, I don't know. Just taking a few seconds to take in uh, Mugdock Loch. There's Mugdock Castle on the other side of it. Um, really, really lovely spot. And here we are. Here we are on the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, etc, etc, etc. So yeah, so that's uh, the camp sees over there covered in cloud very imposing from here really imposing empty car park number three this one's been taken over by the birds And there at the end of the camp seas is Dungoyne, um, overlooking a distillery and also overlooking a West Island Way. Um, so I've reached the end of my 45 minutes now, so I'm going to turn back and there's a car coming, so I'll just step off the road to show you the rest of this. So this is where I am. Lovely view along the camp seas there. I'm going to see the car in a second. There it is. And on the other side, there's a quarry which is just in front of the Duck Park. Um, so, yeah, there we have it. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, this has been the second of four parts of the Compass Challenge. Um, please join me for the next two. In the meantime, please subscribe, please like it, please leave a comment if you've got any questions, any ideas, suggestions of walks to do, um, questions you'd like me to answer in one of these videos. Um, please do, uh, please do leave that comment. Um, like the page on Facebook, High Crimes and Misdemeanors. Um, and also, uh, yeah on Twitter as well at, at High Crimes if you don't mind uh, seeing a load of other nonsense that I've been posting on there. Um, and until next time, stay safe. Is this thing on?